All right, it's the front burner. And what's on the front burner today? Uh, President of the World Bank Group, A.J. Banga, has commended and pledged support for the policies and reforms of President Bola Tinubu on the removal of fuel subsidies, saying um, he is committed to working with the administration to set Nigeria on the right path for economic um, growth. Well, the World Bank president, who is on a three-day visit to Nigeria to identify opportunities to create jobs for young people and women, addresses energy needs and renewable energy, and further explores the potential for digitization, pledged the support of the global financial institution when he met with President Tinubu in Asorok Presidential Villa Abuja. The World Bank boss noted that although the reforms President Tinubu is currently undertaking are not easy, the right thing must be done to give Nigerians a better and prosperous future. Nigeria needs to be able to do to correct its situation. If you don't correct the situation on fuel subsidy, you have a fiscal deficit that remains unsustainable. So he's trying to do all the right things. Now the question is, how do you navigate through the next few months so that you can set the economy on the right path for the future. As I discussed with him, Nigeria has to be an African champion. If Nigeria becomes an African champion, then we know that the African continent has a country, the largest country with the largest GDP, headed in the right direction. That's his vision, and that vision we share. And we talked about what was in his mind as priorities. And I commended him for a lot of the things he's doing early in his term, not easy, macro fiscal reforms and stability are very important he's very determined to do the right thing and i think you will find the world bank supporting him with not just uh, financial aid but also with knowledge and thinking around how to create the right regulatory policies and fiscal policies so we had a very good discussion um, we're talking about uh, Bretton Woods institution, Zoe. Um, one thing is certain the world bank itself has admitted in the past that none of its policies on revamping economies in Africa has ever worked. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's interesting. So, so how come so they... So is Banga going to change that um, narrative? Mm -hmm. it's, still yet, it's still yet to be seen. Um, and what they're telling us now looks very encouraging, um, very promising, but I can guarantee you that's what they tell every nation. That's what they told Ghana too when it went a borrowing. Mm -hmm. Now it's somehow a sorrowing. We hope that our leaders learned from not their own mistakes, should learn from the mistakes of others. Of others. I think that is so key. Um, in the past, you know, we've seen, um, you know, several World Bank uh, projects. And, of course, you know, there are always two sides. You know, there's the side where you are, you are appreciative of the support that they're giving you. But on the other hand, you begin to wonder, was this really in the interest of the people or some other personal interests? And so, especially the conditionalities that a lot of these grants and uh, projects, these funds come with. I want to believe that Mr. President has his team set that will review and look critically, read the fine prints, you know, that come with some of these um, projects and support so that uh, they make sure that they're not walking into something that they won't be able to retrieve themselves later on. I mean, just the just concluded uh, French, uh, um, you know, French summit in, in Paris, um, President William Ruto of Kenya has said it, look, this, the World Bank isn't set up for our favor. We need another bank that can favor African nations as well, because we go borrowing double digits while the Western, uh, you know, richer nations mm. can borrow at more convenient uh, arrangements. Well, that's much on uh, the front burner for you. Let's quickly take you to what the newspapers are saying after this break. We are not going there as beggars.
not going there as beggars.